I, I'm obviously the controversial with me and Rob is like people have made it controversial about the high five. I think it's, I think I think it's disrespectful. I think it's kind of a slap in the face to the spirit of surfing. To be honest with you, we were stoked two two friends surfing in perfect ways of pipeline with no one out. Yeah, there's a world title online, uh, but it was like perfect waves. And uh, I don't know, what do you say? We're just, I, I think we're in the moment. And, and I think if, I'm gonna, I'll say this, I think if anyone initiated the high five, it's Rob. I kinda, yeah, okay. it looks that way. He yeah. did it, time out, time out, listen, hear me out here. He does a cut back and goes like this. I was paddling. I had to sit up my yeah. board and go like that. Kinda looks that way. I wasn't sitting yeah. there going, bring it, bring it. We, but, it didn't matter. It, ju it just. Can you guys do another one right now? <laughs> it, <did laughs> it was left hand. It was. It was left hand. It was left hand. Yeah. Oh. But it's the premiere of the Momentum Generation documentary, and it's at the La Paloma, where um, where, where surf movies are all started. My craziest memory would be our first premiere here. We had um, Pennywise and Sprung Monkey play and they ripped out the first four rows and it was just hectic. These seats where I'm sitting weren't here somehow. They were removed by the crowd and this turned into a big pit. Alan was so mad and he, he like said, no more, you'll never do another surf movie there again. And so, um, you know, he forgave us six months later when we did our next one. So tonight's the premiere of the HBO documentary on the Momentum Generation. It's at La Ploma Theater where we had Momentum originally premiere. And it's surreal to have this movie go through all these sort of changes. I think the people that will be showing up have, have, were kids when they watched Momentum and they're going to have their own life experiences that are pretty similar to Momentum Generation night. If you did the theater tour, you came to La Paloma. When I met Jeff and Mike Zimblis, I trusted them completely about making this movie. Even though before I was kind of like hesitant, like, to who do we trust? And there was really no one that took the challenge on until they came along. They made the movie perfect because Taylor Steele's story got told. Instead of him telling our story, his story got told in the most amazing way possible because it shows the good and bad about all of, what, all of what's happened to us through this whole journey. In mainstream, you only see the good, you don't see the bad. But uh, I think that actually what's the defining fact of this movie is the bad actually shows you the good instead of going, hey, you know, there is no bad out there. Everything's good, you know. This one's like showing you, hey man, there is bad out there, but you can make it good, you know. So I'm glad to be here and be able to uh, have those experiences and I've learned a lot from them so it's good. Like we all sat there and watched it and we all got up and like hugged each other and like I love you man had that moment and like we were really proud like we all laughed and cried and hugged it out and, and just like it's kind of like pretty cool to put all that together in one special piece that we can be proud of. A lot of us have been friends since we were 12 years old. We found a lot of those things that we were missing in family, in our group. 